Recovering and rebuilding after the storms will be a long process, but for some families, they will never see their loved ones again. The three deaths that occurred in Davidson County happened in Madison along Nesbitt Lane. We want to show you exactly where that is, especially if you are new here to Middle Tennessee. This is just north of the city and past East Nashville. The strength of the storm threw trailers into the air, killing two adults and a toddler. Our Nick Barris spoke to the child's father and found out that little boy was discovered in his mother's arms. This is Ground Zero, Nesbitt Lane in a trailer park in Madison, one of the area's hardest hit. At one point, there was a trailer right here. The tornado lifted it and dropped it on another trailer over there. This cost three lives. Just a whoosh. Sound like you went to the car wash and put the commercial vacuum cleaner on your ear. Wanda McLemore remembers the moment the tornado tore through the Madison trailer park. Her unit was spared, but the one next door? I looked out and I didn't see the trailer and we heard somebody hollering for help. You could hear for help, and by the time we got out here, there was our, I had to grab a coat and stuff because it was still raining and there were already people over here trying to get to them. The tornado lifted one trailer and threw it on top of another. The impact killed 37-year-old Joseph Dalton in one of the trailers. 31-year-old Floridima Perez died in the other. First responders then desperately searched for her missing two-year-old, Anthony. One of the firemen, I said, did they find the baby? And they said yes, they couldn't find it because she was holding it, covering it, protecting it. Anthony did not survive. Two other children inside did, as well as the baby's father, who says they were asleep when the tornado hit. The, the, the little kids were saying that his mom was sleeping, and I know they were like screaming. It just touched our heart. We like, we got to come out here and help. Sean Richardson volunteered to help the family in any way he could. When you at your lowest point, you lose it all. You All you really want is some help. There is plenty of need. Any doubt about the sheer destructive force of the tornado was made clear by this fiery substation explosion just one block from Nesbitt Lane. Oh my God. The result of the storm here, home after home damaged or destroyed, and three lives lost. You can certainly hear the chainsaws off in the distance. The cleanup is underway, but it's going to take time. Why? Well, one reason, power lines are down throughout this area, and they say you're to assume all of them are live which could be very dangerous. In Madison, Nick Barris, News Channel 5. So much to take in. The two children who survived in the trailers are in the hospital tonight, and officials tell us they are in stable condition.